Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Lewis Stardust and I'll also link her channel somewhere around here so you guys can click on it. So today we're going to do a cosplay tag. So it'll just be a few questions about cosplay that we're going to answer for you guys. Um, I think also before this we should kind of like, since, since Vera <laughs> had asked many questions, um, I think we should kind of talk about how we met and then we'll go into yes. the, the kind of cosplay. Questionnaire. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I don't. Did, I don't know if we talked on the internet first. Do you remember? I no idea. I don't actually. Even, I actually I just know like you were like one of my first cosplay. Yeah, friends. Kay was one of my first cosplay friends. Um, I learned about cosplay through Tumblr, which we'll get into or whatever. But I, I don't know if I saw you on Instagram or what. But I feel like I knew who you were already. And then we saw each other. Might have been through Instagram. Yeah. Where did we? Was it New York first or Wizard? It was Wizard World, right? Wizard no. I was at Wizard World Philly. I was at Anime Next. Yeah, I know those were all ones we saw each other, but when did we first meet? I think it was. I remember New York Comic Con was like my first convention. But I don't think we met. I don't know if we I know we had that picture with us as Rocket and whatever, but yes, I feel like we but took that was after that. I feel like that's like our second photo together. <laughs> what we what are, a mystery. We are anybody knows to answer to answer those questions. <laughs> we yeah, would I like feel to like know. if we dig on your Instagram <laughs> far enough, because mine's gone so I will never know that Thank answer. Thank you Instagram. Um, <laughs> but I feel like we probably met at New York Comic Con. Um, unless you went to Was Philly. I with Erilyn? Because if I was at Erilyn then I was at Comic Con. Yeah, I think so. I remember it being in like the middle of the hallway. I, I don't know if she was in her like Wreck-It Ralph but I feel like that was not. That was, that was recent. Yeah that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know. So it's probably 2013 that sounds right and I did. Yeah, we met as a mystery. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to like. I never thought about I this, thought though. that I would just know, but I feel like we maybe talked. I think maybe it was like through Ron or a mutual friend or something maybe. that I saw. Let it be something. Because I feel like I definitely saw Kay before I met her in real life, and she was like, "Let's take a selfie." I remember that. And I was like, "Oh, she's so nice." And then she mystery. also asked what our favorite cosplays were of each other. I really like your rogue. I think oh. that's your favorite with you and Joe as Gambit. I, I love that one. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I think my favorite is your lollipop chainsaw mashup that you did with Harley, just because I like all of the like little attention to details, and there's like um, the Joker's head on mm -hmm. the side instead of Nick, which I thought was cute, and it says like haha in the chainsaw. <laughs> I thought those were really cute. Um, I actually seen like a few people do that after, but I just thought it was really like a cool twist on Harley's character and Juliet's, because I feel like that's something that each of them would do. Yeah. So it was nice to see. You and Joe need to do more costumes. Together, I know. You guys are the cutest. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like waiting for you and Don to do like a real like serious couples cosplay because you me guys... and John don't cosplay ever. Yeah, it's like <laughs> individual stuff. But one day, I'm waiting for it. Question number one is how did you discover cosplay and when did you begin doing it? Um, I knew about cosplay for a while, but I just never went because none of my friends before cosplay like like the same thing I did. So they all think I was like weird. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so then I went the first year with a photography group with Erilyn and we decided to like just put together our costumes like not even make it. Mm -hmm. We decided just to take what, whatever we had and just put it together. Um, so we went as Harley and Catwoman and we like fell in love. And that's yeah. cute. Um, I was gonna say it was probably like me a and her fell in love together. So <laughs> <laughs> that's what it felt. Like. Yeah, we're not in love. No, <laughs> we're not dating. Um, so were you did you do photography? Is that how? It worked? No, I was um, I was working for them as a makeup artist. Oh, okay. So I was doing that, and I was also editing photos with them. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Um, I talk about this a lot on my own channel, but I got started in 2012, like I, I mentioned, and. Um, it was my first time ever going to a convention. I knew about it through like Tumblr and I saw little things like that, but I wasn't ever like immersed in the community. And then I went for the first time with my mom and my best friend and we just wanted to like go see celebrities and walk around and I saw cosplay in real life and saw how like amazing everybody looked yeah. and I was like really inspired by that and I went home and I was like, all right, next convention is near Comic Con. I have to make something for once we saw everybody in like their costumes, we were like, our costumes look terrible. Yeah, not it's good just enough. like it's crazy because it's like you have like 
these things you hold dear to your heart and like all these fandoms and then they're just kind of all in one place yeah. and it's just like <laughs> something that's like a totally different experience um but you did mention that your first cosplay was harley and that's our next yep. question was there a specific harley that you did or? i did arkham city harley okay cute Okay, I, also did, I did a Pikachu, so I did Pikachu and Harley that year. Oh, that's cute. My first cosplay was Ramona Flowers from Scott Pilgrim, and I just kind of found things like in my house that I used for the costume. I didn't yeah, really have definitely. any concept of like what a good wig was or that I could buy like actual <laughs> costumes online. I just kind of like went to the thrift store, went through my house, and found things and put it together. So that was pretty fun. The next question is, what is your favorite cosplay? I think everybody knows the answer to this question, but it's Harley. It's not Harley. <laughs> yeah, it's not I hate good. Harley. <laughs> um, is it a specific Harley, like the original? Um, you were like, I like her classic. It took me a long time to make it because it was like, yeah, but the bodysuit like really scared me. Yeah. Um, I still have to do a cowl for it. Um, but that's like one of the my favorite The bodysuit is like a really nice texture though. It looks good on you. I think you wore it to something. Which I wore like, it one time and I need to wear it more. Because yeah. It's, just, it's I don't such know an easy costume what you to wear. Too, but I was at that convention. I think it's one we did together. Yes. I actually do a lot of conventions together, like a lot of local stuff. So I, that's why I'm like, I remember this thing you wore. <laughs> but I can't remember how we met. There's just so many different versions of her. Like oh, yeah. I, that's why I like, love cosplaying so as her. And you can so many unique ones too, which is really nice. Exactly. Um, so the next question would be... You didn't answer your question. Oh, your shit. Favorite. Okay. <laughs> My personal favorite costumes um, would have to be... Oh, God, that's hard. I don't think I have, like, a real favorite. I think, like, I love My Gamora. I think it's one that is one that's really known... Like people really know me for um even like zoe saldana she like liked my like, on instagram i was like all right girl i'll see you but i think like my favorite one i had to do would either be the classic 90s rogue or my alana from saga just because i got to do it with my boyfriend and it was like my dream like couples cosplay yeah. for both of those so it was like really nice to have that um some of my favorite ones for sure the next question is <laughs> what is your most difficult slash labor intensive costume um I think it's between Deathstroke and my Sith. Mm -hmm. The only reason the Sith being higher is because that was the first time making a breastplate out of foam. Mm -hmm. And I also did a lot of like, I actually did a lot of research on the Sith. Like I have the book and I read it just to make sure I would get it like what? Sith accurate. <laughs> you so, wanted to like embody yes. it. And it's funny because so, you're such like a like a bubbly and happy person to so see you as like such a dark I'm always such thing. evil character. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. I and I'm just the like, worst Kay is so sweet. And like, you know, she'll be running up to you like, hey, like smiling in her like scary Sith costume. And you're like, all right. <laughs> like, um, yeah, so I like did research on like their language and like their symbols what? and stuff to make sure I got it accurate because I, I mean I also know like a lot of Star Wars fans are like they'll call me out on it. Yeah, but, man, you know. some of those groups are just too much with Star Wars. Like it's it's yeah. overdone. But that's really cool. Yeah. I didn't know you researched mm -hmm. on stuff, man. You're like showing me up. You right did now. more. I don't know if you. Have you done more? You've done a lot of armor costumes. Um, I've done a lot of armor costumes that I just don't wear. Like I've made them and like I've had them in my house and I get like nervous that it's gonna like be bad so I haven't done it. Um, but I am making one right now. So you see that it's kind of like an annoying uh, armor <laughs> right now. Um, I think the most like labor intensive one I did would have to be like my Noctis costume and it wasn't even so much the costume itself it was just altering but the engine blade was like such a pain mm. in the ass and it was like they had these images of uh, the blade out for a while, but the game hadn't been released yet, and I didn't have like the best like close-ups of it. And he yeah. has like a whole like motorcycle engine on oh his sword, and I'm like, who? <laughs> first off, who does that? Who's practical? Nobody in Square Enix or Final Fantasy yeah. games—they don't care. And it was just like this huge uh, thing that I had to kind of figure out. So I think that was like the most like labor-intensive for all the little details. I feel like that's the hardest when you don't have reference. Oh yeah, good reference photos, or it's just not. And sometimes like accurate to like real life. Yeah, and a lot of like for video games, for example, or shows like you get just screen caps of the characters on there and they're always like dark or grainy mm -hmm. and like unless you find a figure or if you have a figure like you're not gonna get the most amount of exactly. like detail on something. <laughs> Question number five is which character have you cosplayed that is the most similar to you? Um, I'm gonna have to just say Harley. I was gonna say yeah. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> um, no. Um, I don't know, like, I really connect, like, people, like, say, like, she's not a person to really look up to, and, you know, there's, there are people who, I think that I see a lot of good in people that, like, I've really 
given them a chance and they were just not good people and I feel like that's what I um, relate to most with Harley because she always sees a good in like everybody so I think that's the most like thing with Harley and she's actually like you know she's really smart she's very she's, intelligent I feel like people forget yeah. that because of like you know when she actually becomes like Harley Quinn mm -hmm. instead of like um the, the doctor that she was before or like the personality exactly. that she had before and people just always see her as like weak or crazy yeah. girl but it's like even though she's going through those things she's yeah. still she's super still really intelligent smart and like, um she knows what she's doing yeah you know um you know love gets in the way but <laughs> I mean I feel like in the yeah. comics she really like steps it up mm -hmm. and like she's more of a role model yeah that way um i don't really know if i have like a a complete answer to this i feel like um like bits and pieces of characters but not all of them like i cosplayed uh body from snot girl and like she's like kind yeah, of I a real her. jerk but like i feel like in the concept of like what she does for a living and like yeah. how her mentality is about certain things without like the super you know not so nice side <laughs> i feel like i relate to that and i also feel like i can relate to um alana from saga just based on like you know a little bit kind of like her backstory and some stuff she went through um but i don't know i don't think there's like a real particular character that i'm like yes <laughs> i am totally 100 yeah. percent them because there's also stuff that i do that might be like a darker costume yeah. or like something that's overly sweet and i feel like i'm like somewhere in the middle of that but i feel like that's like like i feel like you like to embody like different yeah. different characters like that's and i also you know. really like to like gender bend things and like make like dudes look like sexy <laughs> girls so i feel like it's just like a weird boundary yeah. between the things so number seven is do you make all of your costumes and props I make most of it like if it's not worth it mm -hmm. like for me to spend the time and the money I won't mm -hmm. like for gloves yeah for certain things like that it has like leggings or certain pants that I can find already and I could like mod it a mm -hmm. little bit then I'll buy it but most of my stuff like I make yeah, um, I definitely like have, we were talking about like we have a bunch of patterns mm -hmm. for different things. Um, I have made a lot of my costumes, but I also sometimes will either get stuff that is sponsored or I will go to the thrift store like I mentioned earlier mm -hmm. and find a lot of things that I can like manipulate into what I want. Um, obviously some things I'm going to have to make from scratch, but you know, if I can get away with not having to make something like a pair of jeans exactly. or like a t-shirt, which is <laughs> stupid to make. Um, I'll just get it and modify it to like the desirable amount. But yeah, a lot of things I do make. I like to make my props a lot. Um, I like making armor. Uh, I don't. How really... did you learn how to do everything? Oh man, see. I kind of just like um, went on the internet and looked up like stuff on DeviantArt and on YouTube and kind of just play with that a little bit. And I'm also feel like I'm still learning. Like I have some yeah. friends who have had like tutorial books or videos and stuff online which have been really helpful um like kamui cosplay yes, her stuff is I like love her books. the best she actually just made like a sewing book now um so she does everything but i feel like now with my partner because he's so into cosplay um he always comes up with like weird ways of like doing stuff and i'm like wow that's like so out of the box i would never think of that but it just helps you like find new ways to create which is that's really when cool. i said like cosplay even if you don't have a lot of funds to put in your costumes there's always like ways to yeah. make things there's your, a lot of things ways. in your house like mm -hmm. he was like showing me like um like kitchen lining to mm -hmm. use for like patterning on oh, your cool. armor and stuff like that textury stuff which i'm going to use on one of my costumes and i would never like thought of that unless i saw that method <laughs> you know I think I learned from, I went to a fabric store after I went to Comic Con because I really wanted to know how to sew. So I yeah. went to a fabric store near me and I, they taught me like the basics. Mm -hmm. And then I just, you know, like YouTube and yeah, tutorials. Yeah, there's a lot of great stuff you know? on YouTube. I feel like between that. Especially time, like you just get better yeah. practicing. <laughs> well, we've both been doing it since 2012. So we've had quite, quite <laughs> some time since then to really kind of like, yeah. you know, learn things and we're still learning. Yeah, yeah, like I, I make something still, like now, and like I throw it out and just redo it over again because yeah. I need it, and I'm like, you know. That's my just, line. <laughs> like people think it just takes like one shot. No. Sometimes it just takes multiple times. Yeah, it's definitely it a, right. a, a constant learning experience, which is nice. Uh, the next question is, who are your cosplay inspirations? You know, people that you follow or mm -hmm. enjoy their work, I guess. Um. Like we were saying, like Mui, yeah, I love her, and she like she's always open with like cosplay questions mm -hmm. and spreading knowledge about 
like how to do certain things and I feel like a lot of cosplayers like try to keep their secrets yeah I feel like, like that's a thing too you know I don't understand that either because like if I I was telling her too I've seen some photos of a cosplay that I'm doing right now and it was um, you know there's great photos of it online and there's kind of like no tutorials on how they make it or and you know some people don't have the time or want to make the tutorials and that's okay but I'm like I wish people just shared their patterns or shared like things yeah. like that um, I know that like Stella Chu and like the D Smalls and people like that that have Patreons, they do put their stencils up after and they mm -hmm. put like a whole list of stuff. I think also Pretzel Cosplay does that. I was about to say her too, I love Yeah, those and she'll stuff. put up all the patterns and like each month will be a specific costume where it's like all laid out for you so you can learn a lot of stuff. I really like her stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I've been into, what's, <sighs> there's this one girl, I think it's called Kim Patsu. I love her picture. I really too. like her stuff, she's great and I'm a, I'm Crushing on that girl, Katsuki <laughs> Moon Fox. I think she's really yes. cute. So those are some people I like too. I guess we have like a similar yeah. interest for girls. <laughs> um, we have the same type of girls we like. <laughs> yeah. I'm always just like also like inspired by like my friends. I know yeah. it sounds cheesy, but like getting to cosplay mm -hmm. with my friends and getting to like build things and like this weekend we got to like hang out and build costumes together yeah. um, for a group that we're doing. So it's just really fun to like you know, do things with your friends and I'm always inspired by them to like do better and learn new things. So yeah. next question is what is your favorite thing about cosplay? Um, I like the more creative aspect of it and like also meeting new people because I have grown a lot in like my friend area. Yeah. Because before that I had like no friends who had similar interests and stuff. So it was nice getting to be in an area with like a bunch of people with the same interests. Yeah. And then like the creative aspect is like I used to draw when I was younger mm -hmm. and I always need like a creative outlet type thing and it helps me de-stress yeah. and stuff like that. I definitely think cosplay is a way to like um, help with anxieties and stuff and between like doing panels or public speaking and making things that help me when I'm stressed out to relax a little bit more even though sometimes <laughs> costuming is it stressful. Makes you stress. Yeah. Um I think that's definitely some stuff that has really been awesome and I also really love like creating intricate cosplay looks um like my Jessica Rabbit that I got to shoot with like a nice like retro looking background in my Princess Monoke and like a wolf and wolf dog sanctuary stuff like that like embodying yeah. characters and bringing them to places um really fun for me and a great experience and I really enjoy that as well as you know making friends and yeah exploring that because I'm not <laughs> a very like social person very yeah. introverted I feel like it's like people have different like conception about people it's like cosplay is like a fun for us first but we also get the event like the advantages of doing other things because yeah. of cosplay and I also feel like there's so much like I want to make a whole video talking mm -hmm. about this, but I feel like there's so many people who are like, cosplay is only like for people who make big intricate armors, yeah. and cosplay is only for people who do this. No, like cosplay is as cheesy as it sounds. Cosplay is for mm -hmm. everybody, and like when we got started, yeah, we were, we just were doing just it for fun. fun. Like we had no yeah. idea what we were and doing, and we were lucky like, that we were like able to make a career out of this in some degree. Um, but you know, we're not like people who are like snobby about. It. We're not like, oh, this is our job, and you know, yeah. that's just for fun. No, we still do it for yeah. fun. We're always gonna do this for fun. If I, me personally, if I ever got to a point where I hated what I was doing, I would just stop doing exactly. it. Um, so I think there is definitely a balance between work and fun for cosplay. And if you could do both as a job, then you know there's no reason anybody should be hateful exactly. towards that. But sorry, we're not like a rampage. I, know, right? I get so <laughs> angry about that. So I, I definitely want to make a whole video talking yeah. about that because that's just like a whole other thing. <laughs> and that, I guess the next question would be thing. your least favorite <laughs> thing, which is what I just ranted about. But is there anything else you think um, is like your least favorite thing about cosplay? I guess that goes into like the whole like people like the same thing like people won't help each other. Like I find yeah. that a lot of people in the community like it should be a community where everybody feels safe mm -hmm. and should feel like they're not excluded because a lot of these people like. I felt excluded from certain situations in my life and I would never want anybody else to feel like that, you know? I definitely feel like some things are discouraging and yes. you don't want to ever like, you know what I mean? Like when I got started into cosplay, it was because I just wanted to do something fun and it helped me really break out of my shell, mm -hmm. it helped me with my anxieties like we mentioned, it helped me, you know, communicate with people and meet people who liked what I liked. So if you're going to be like an elitist and like kind of a not nice person and you go to a convention and like brush these people off it's kind of yeah. just like you know crappy like to see somebody that you're excited about like exactly. oh my god i love harley quinn i want to talk to yeah. about this and if you just 
brush me off. I feel like I'd be discouraged and might not want to mm -hmm. do this anymore. Like the way I see it, like I've had a lot of like, especially with Harley cosplayers, mm -hmm. there's a lot of like animosity between Harley cosplayers and I'm always like, if anybody ever has like Harley questions, like yeah. I tell them it's fine to go to me because I'll, I'll help them out. Yeah. But I've met like a lot of Harley cosplayers that gave me dirty looks or I don't like, get that either. Just because you're dressed as the same thing. That like you should blows feel my mind. Too. Like cool, somebody likes the same thing that yeah. I like. You know? I always get excited when I see a cosplayer who is either like cosplaying the same thing as me mm -hmm. or cosplaying from the same realm exactly. as I am. Because I'm like, hey, we mm -hmm. like this thing, let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. And it really bumps me out when people are like, she's also doing this costume like yeah i thought i was gonna be the only one in the world <laughs> yeah. like it's just it's silly and you know it sucks when that's like the way people do mm -hmm. things but you know you just gotta be the better person yeah. and, and continue to do things you like and you know spread love and person all that good stuff nice. number 10 is what is something you've learned through cosplay that kind of piggybacks of yeah what we were, we're talking about too uh, <laughs> piggyback <laughs> we're <laughs> We're just combining all these questions together, but yeah. um, I feel like definitely like my social anxiety mm -hmm. and my like anxiety has gotten a lot better with cosplay. Like it forces me to talk to people and be more socialized. Um, so I feel like that even like doing panels and stuff. Yeah, like I, I would have not like thought I would be oh doing that in high school. I was so bad <laughs> at public speaking that I would like get physically sick and I would yeah. have to go I would be over. shaking and yeah like... <laughs> it was just too much so like I would never think that would be something I'm doing but um I know even for... like YouTube videos too it's like doing oh, yeah. that is very hard like people don't yeah we're talking about yeah. how long it takes for us to like edit out all the like weird stuff we're like uh 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 yeah, like, like, um, <laughs> but um yeah I would have to agree with you 100% I don't think there's really anything else I can add to that that we haven't said yeah. already of course like just like learning more about our craft and stuff like yeah. that it comes with time yeah you know even photo shoots like modeling stuff mm -hmm. it comes with time Number 11 is what are your favorite conventions to go to? My favorite is coming up, which is KatsuCon. Mm -hmm. I really like MAGFest, although like I don't get a lot of time to get to MAGFest just because of time. Um, yeah. I used to really like near Comic Con, but it's just getting really crowded. Oh my god, it's so crowded. Um, but since it was like my first convention, it's, it's like, like yeah, it's like in my heart. Yeah. So um, my first convention was Wizard World in, in New York around the same kind of time, so I do feel that way mm -hmm. about it too. Um, I love Chicago for C2E2. Like I went last year, I had a blast. I love KatsuCon. Uh, KatsuCon's just like a beautiful, it's beautiful space, yeah. and it's just like it's nice to have everything. I like the conventions where like the hotel is connected in the mm -hmm. building. You get food, you can go shoot. Like everything is in a nice space. And what's good with Katsu is like it really caters to like the cosplayers yeah. and the photographers mm -hmm. and like the art of cosplay. It's not just like and there's so much you, you know. could do in the area too. Like I felt like that. Um, for Dragon Con, Dragon Con's like a bitty, like a, a big, well-known party convention, and um, everybody goes there to go like drink <laughs> and party and have a good time. But while you're there, like the convention center is like three floors uh, big for the artist alley and for like the shops, and you can go get food in the area. There's a bunch of restaurants and like everybody just kind of like embodies being with each other instead of being petty, and it's like the nicest like time I've had at a convention. I still have to go to Dragon Con. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> like there's no really way to describe that convention you know what i mean if you're not a big party here it might be like kind of weird but um but i feel like the parade is also nice the parade too. is like awesome really like there's so much to do during the day and at night like you don't have to like drink to have a good time it's just fun to mm -hmm. see everybody doing like silly costumes exactly. or things that they're enjoying but um, i feel like even like the conventions like it's depending on who's going like i love yeah. seeing like the people like katsukan i know most of my friends are going to be at so yeah, i know absolutely. i'm going to have a good time I also love at KatsuCon, you always see like a lot of big like ballroom gowns. I feel like mm -hmm. people bring like some of their best work yeah. there. So it's kind of like a huge cosplay showcase, which is really nice. The next question is, what is your dream cosplay? Or uh, cosplays if you have a couple. I probably just going to say like all the Harleys. <laughs> That's like my question. <laughs> like Harley ever. Yeah, it's not just like one big like costume build. Because I'm not really into like building like big yeah. giant costumes. Um, pretty much just doing like as many Harleys as I can. Mm -hmm. um, I really want to do, um, I was talking about how I want to do Celine from Underworld just because it's like nostalgic and I also want to do um, the vampire like ghouls and like wives that are in Branch oh, or Dracula yes. or like the ones that are in Van Housing because I just feel like they're so beautiful. That's something I've always wanted to do. And I just really want to like embody like my favorite films and stuff like that that I loved when I was growing up like mm -hmm. I'm dying to do like the Dark Crystal um, 
and stuff like that and bringing them to like intricate cosplay settings and bringing them to real life like i got yeah. to do a few last year which was really nice and this year i want to try and push for those goals to bring those characters into a setting that like fits accordingly and like mm -hmm. bring them to life so that's a big goal for me well, that's good year. because you don't really see those costumes like yeah. too often you always see like you know the comics you always mm -hmm. see every character pretty much yeah and it's and just a little something different yeah. too the 13th and final question on this uh little cosplay tag is what is your next cosplay uh, my next one that i'm working on is we're doing a little fairy group Yay! for katsukan so we're working on that kind of delaying on making our wings but yeah, we'll talk about that too much. <laughs> um but that one and also i'm going to be doing um himoka toga from my hero academia i'm working on a fairy as well and then i'm going to be making fran from final fantasy and then after that um i have a bunch of stuff coming up so I'm <laughs> the list never ends some horror costumes. costumes yeah i'm doing some duo stuff with joe um but i guess you guys will just have to wait and see yeah, all that all right, so that is the end of this cosplay tag. Make sure you like and follow on her channel. I'll post it probably in the description box. Yeah. Um, so yeah, hope you guys liked it.